I haven't heard many people discussing this, so I thought it'd be a little fun to talk about it. A massive YouTuber is now using Linux. Yes, PewDiePie has made the switch. This is across the Fedora discussion forum. PewDiePie switched to Linux in one of his latest videos where he did his first custom PC build. Instead of going over to Windows, he chose to use Linux. We're going to talk about which Linux distribution he chose to use and some of the progression that he's made. He didn't talk much about it in the video as the very first comment calls him an undercover Linux YouTuber and we're going to find out why. But it is a very interesting turn of events. It is not the first time PewDiePie has tried Linux, but seemingly it is the first time PewDiePie is supporting Linux as a gaming first PC build. Calling it my first gaming PC build, we see remnants of some Linux distribution in the background. I'm going to let you guess what it is in the comment section below at this point, but I'm going to reveal it here in a moment. But we can see here a very unusual looking shell. A little customized here as it seems to have some transparency. Let's investigate a little. Up top, it kind of looks like something you would expect from Ubuntu. Although the text is very hard to read because it's in orange and the background is pretty much orange as well, we can see that PewDiePie is using NordVPN Connect Japan and it says that they are connected. And then finally, NordVPN Connect Sweden. So this seems to all be using some sort of Linux terminal. Uncertain what it is quite yet as it is zoomed in quite a bit and you just can't tell. So this is the very first little glimpse that we get inside the video without mention about Linux. If we play a little bit here, we can see PewDiePie and his cute son continuing on an ad for NordVPN. So this isn't the last time Linux is shown in the video, but it is a surprise. As Mutahar has also done a video called Linux just took a massive win. And presumably that's all because PewDiePie is one of the largest YouTubers, if not the largest YouTuber, definitely the biggest YouTuber using Linux. And Mudahar talks about how he's also surprised that he built a gaming PC running Linux and how it can help a little bit with mainstream Linux adoption as some major titles and games are starting to support Linux, even though PewDiePie admittedly says he's not really going to game a lot with this PC. He has said that it has become a viable alternative for gamers, a big win for Linux awareness especially as Windows 10 reaches the end of life on October 2025. Windows 11 requires a TPM CPU, which restricts older hardware from being able to upgrade to Windows 11. And here's where we finally get a glimpse at what PewDiePie is using. Now, if you blink, you might miss it, but here at the last minute of the video, we get a glimpse at what PewDiePie was using. Notice the clouds in the background, as we saw before, we can imagine that the terminal was somewhere here while recording the video and we were getting a glimpse at the clouds. Over here in the left hand corner, it gives it away. It's Linux Mint being used and is such a great choice. Clearly, PewDiePie did his research as Linux Mint is one of the most beginner friendly Linux distributions, a great choice for people transitioning over from Windows. It's got a familiar UI, easy to navigate and has everything you pretty much need out of the box. And at a foundational level, this choice of using Linux Mint is probably the best Linux option for transitioning users. At least that's what I personally think. Let me know which Linux distribution you would tell beginners to install yourselves in the comments below. Zorin is a close second, if not first. I do like that as well for people coming over from Windows. But anyways, we'll play this one out real quick so you can see the build. This was really fun. I enjoyed doing that. I totally see why people enjoy building PCs. I love doing it. Now I can finally call myself a gamer. Which is hilarious as he might as well call himself a Linux user at this point and it might get more heads to turn. Either way, with this increased visibility as one of the most influential YouTubers switches to Linux, hopefully more people get a positive experience, understand that it is a viable solution, not only for everyday use, but for gaming in general. With over 29 billion views, 110 million subscribers, it's quite fascinating to see PewDiePie using Linux. The comment section has been going wild as well, including Mudahar saying, PewDiePie using Linux was not on the bingo card, to be honest. Linux and all AMD, Pewds, a man of real class. Welcome to the Linux community. Glad to see Linux has gotten to the point that big YouTubers and regular people can use it easily without having to use a terminal. Love to see how far open source came. Thank you, PewDiePie, for joining us. And thank you, Lenny Face, for giving the warm welcome. Recently, I switched to Linux 
my heart skipped, this was huge, we need a PewDiePie Linux video. And I agree with this, and a lot of people tend to agree with this, as it would be awesome to see how PewDiePie's experience using Linux has been. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button for me, and don't forget to subscribe below, as YouTube can get finicky, and you wouldn't wanna miss another video like this. I wanna talk about something even bigger now, as not only PewDiePie being the biggest YouTuber that has ever mentioned switching to Linux as mentioned by this comment, but he's not just using Linux Mint. Clearly, he has started going down the rabbit hole. As all of us do, distro hopping becomes a thing, and go figure making the transition from Linux Mint, which is just a wonderful operating system in my opinion. The latest version, Linux Mint 22.1, is available. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. I'm sure a lot of you have tried Linux Mint. Let me know that you've used Linux Mint in the comments section below. But here's the twist of events. Not only can PewDiePie say that he's using Linux and he switched over to Linux, but he posted on Instagram had to be done with an image of Arch Linux. That's right, PewDiePie can now say, I use Arch Linux, by the way. We can see here, a username, it kind of looks like PewDie or something like that. It's a little blurred as I had to get this post and zoom in a lot just to be able to tell what was going on. But we can see here that there's a ton of RAM. PewDiePie is using an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS, it seems like, with Radon graphics and has an AMD ATI Radon Vega series GPU and a secondary GPU. This looks like an integrated deal. And then NVIDIA GeForce RTX. I think that says 3070 mobile. What's more important is the shell that PewDiePie has installed is ZSH with Hyperland as the windowing manager, a dynamic tiling Wayland compositor. I wonder whose video PewDiePie decided to use in order to install Arch Linux. It'd be great to see. The terminal he's using as well is Kitty as he's clearly doing a deep dive, learning about the world of Linux and what to use. I think he's making great choices here. Again, a recap here, he's using Arch Linux, by the way, with ZSH, Hyperland, and Kitty installed. What a wonderful combination. Let me know if you think he has great taste here in his latest switch to Linux. I definitely wanna keep following along with this one as not only this is reflecting PewDiePie's personal computing preferences, but opens up a catalyst for broader discussions and interest in Linux with more people. He even praised improvements in gaming on Linux, stating that playing on it now is completely viable, and it's great to see his followers reacting positively and asking for more content on this experience. Thanks to tools like Proton and Steam Play, making Linux gaming viable. And I'll post a couple links in the description below if you wanna see previous videos that PewDiePie has posted about Linux. Well, more specifically about his setup tour and the latest custom build. I'm going to sign off with a quote from PewDiePie here. Had to be done. We had to switch to Linux. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. Love to hear from you. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe below. You're a true fan and I appreciate you watching to the end. Don't forget to smash that like button. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.